In this video, we're going to talk about linear equations. Linear equations. So a linear equation is an equation that can be written in the following form. a times x plus b equals 0, and a is not equal to 0. Let's look at some examples of uh, linear equations. So one possible example was, is 2x plus 4 equals 0. So you see here a is 2 and b is 4. That's called the linear equation. If you notice, the word line is hidden in the word linear. And if you call this piece here y and you graph it, you actually do get a line. Hence the name linear equations. Another example would be negative 3x plus 2 equals 0, and so on. What we're concerned with is solving linear equations. So let's do some examples of that. So ex means example. So solve, let's look at 3x minus 1 equals 5. So solution. To solve this equation, we have to start by um, isolating the x. So here's the x here, it's together with a 3. So first we'll add 1 to both sides, so plus 1, plus 1. These cancel, so you get 3x equals 6. And then we're almost there, x is being multiplied by 3, so to solve for x, we have to divide by 3. So divide by 3, and so we get x equals 2. And that would be the solution to the linear equation. If you wanted to check your work, you could. You don't have to. Um, you could just take the 2 and plug it back into the original. Let's check. So 3 times 2 minus 1. That should be equal to 5. And that should be a question mark. So 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 minus 1. And that should be equal to 5. And yes, 5 is equal to 5. So it checks the answer to our linear equation is actually x equals 2. Let's try another one. Let's try a harder one. Say solve 3 parentheses x minus 1 minus parentheses x plus 2 <laughs> equals 2x. So really raising the bar here on uh, this next example. So solution. So you see that we're looking for x, and x is trapped inside these parentheses. So we'll start by distributing. So 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Now here there is a minus 1, okay, and so we have to distribute the negative 1. So negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, and that's all equal to 2x. Combining like terms, we have 3x minus x, that's 2x, and negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5, and that's all equal to 2x. Oh, wow, check this out. So we're trying to solve for x, so the goal is to get all of the x's on one side by themselves. So if we subtract 2x from both sides, something amazing happens. We get negative 5 equals 0. That is impossible, so the answer to this equation is no solution. So this equation has no solution. Sometimes people will demand that you write the solution set. So the solution set in this case would be the set of no solutions because there aren't any. <laughs> and uh, there's a special notation for that set. It's called the empty set. Looks like a little circle with a line. In this previous example up here, if we wanted to write the answer as a solution set, we would write the little curly brackets and put the two. So, just extra uh, math knowledge. Let's try another one, because I did not intend for that to have uh, no solution. That kind of just uh, happened, which is kind of nice. So solve 2 parentheses x minus 4 equals 3 parentheses 1 minus x. So solution. So again, we'll start by distributing the numbers to free the x's from their parentheses. So 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Then here we get 3 times 1, which is 3, and 3 times negative x is negative 3x. Almost there, we have to get all of the x's on one side by themselves. So maybe we'll add the 3x to both sides. That gives us 5x minus 8 equals 3. So adding 8 to both sides, 
gives us 5x equals 11. And to finish, you just divide by 5. And so we get x equals 11 fifths. So to recap, a linear equation is an equation that can be written as ax plus b equals 0, and a is not equal to 0. If you were to take this piece here and call it y and graph it, you would get a straight line, hence the name linear equations. And to solve any linear equation, you first isolate the x, and, and that's actually the only step. So in this case, we had to distribute first, get all of the x's on one side together by themselves. That took us here. And then we divided by 5, and we got to the answer. I hope that made sense.